Now we are entering a new chapter, chapter 7, the design of reinforced concrete beam. A beam is a structural element where the load is acting perpendicularly to its longitudinal axis. Because of the arrangement of the beam, the load will be predominantly in bending. Depending on the load and the dimension of beam, sometimes shear load could be critical. For that, the design of reinforced concrete beam normally involve determine the size, the reinforcement bar, and the shear length of the member. A typical design consists of three basic stages the preliminary analysis and the member sizing, the analysis and the design of reinforcement, the serviceability calculation. The preliminary analysis involves analyzing the load, the moment and the shear force acting on the beam. This you have learned it from chapter 3. The member sizing involve the estimations of a suitable size of RC beam so that it is likely to pass the design. This will be covered in this chapter. As for the detailed analysis and design of reinforcement, it will be covered also in this chapter. However, you have perceived the relevant knowledge about the area of reinforcement in your chapter 4 and chapter 5. You will need the knowledge from chapter 4 and chapter 5 for this chapter. For the serviceability requirement, you have been introduced in chapter 6 regarding the concrete cover, axis distance, maximum and minimum bar side spacing, maximum and minimum bar area, maximum bar size, and the deflections, and so on and so forth.